say... What a fun job you girls have this day! <laughs> it looks good! Thanks! Thank you. We never had to do this in Idaho, did we? Nope. Nope, but I don't mind it. I don't either. So this is just really dirty. And it, it wasn't getting any cleaner. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought, why not? Scrub the deck. Swab the deck. Is that what it, that's what pirates call it, right? Yes. It's such a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. it's not too hot. That's his day. Also really cold though. We got up early this morning and did one and a half miles on the trail. Yes. Does that feel good? Yeah. I'm glad we did that. Me too. Sorry I'm getting your feet wet. That's okay. That's awesome. So it's so satisfying. It's not even that hard. Am I weird that it, it's not satisfying to me because you left one square of space when you could have just gone it all like this. You missed a spot right about there. I'm not done. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. I want to give you a tour of the garage. Sorry, I just finished a bowl of spicy ramen oh, it was pretty spicy you got work I said hey Jonah you like spicy food and I said sure so they tossed me a package of this ramen I thought I was done and uh, I was like ah, we'll try he said it's really good tasting ramen so <laughs> it's good tasting ramen but wow packs a punch I don't know what brand it is Sam Young something it's not your typical 99 cent 25 cent package of ramen anyway <clears throat> the garage this is my messy garage right now isn't it wonderful let's get some light in here but this isn't going to be a garage this is going to be my shop number one None of my vehicles will fit in here except the Jeep. And it's just too crammed for that. Number two, I really want a space where I can organize my tools, set them up in a way that I can easily ex access them. I know where they are and what I've got and, and work on projects. And so I'm excited about this. <clears throat> so I've done a little bit of organizing very little and it's going to be a work in progress i've got to get some more shelving and stuff but have my saws set up this pile of wood this is going to be my next project which is actually a repeat of the last one i've got to build another bunk bed i love to see all that wonderful lumber but unfortunately, it also means work. <clears throat> but it's work that I enjoy doing. I like to be able to do things with my hands and create things. I've always enjoyed working with my hands. And I don't know why, having said that, and that being true, I chose to work in a field where I sit behind a desk at a computer creating virtual things, software things, because I like physically doing things with my hands. But I enjoy the work I do as well on, on the computer, so I don't know. I guess in both situations I'm creating and I'm solving problems and maybe that's the draw to it. So yeah, 
it may not look like much. It's kind of a mess right now. And my golly, there's a lot of yellow in this room. I did not realize that. I wouldn't say that I'm a brand loyalist, but there's a lot of, uh, a lot of yellow in this room. Oh well. It's a work in progress. I need to be organized. I need things not to be cluttered and chaotic. That really helps me um, work better, uh, helps my anxiety levels um, a lot. I mean, I can deal with it. And traditionally, I've struggled keeping my life, my things organized. I'm not a good organizer, which is weird because I, I struggle when things aren't organized. I can remember as a kid, I hated, and what kid wouldn't, cleaning my bedroom. But it would get so messy and disorganized and I loved the feeling I'd have when I would clean it and organize it and everything was neat and had a place and was tidy and uh, I'm just horrible at keeping it that way. <laughs> so I uh, am struggling with ideas on how to organize this. I had never really had a space like this to organize in this manner all to myself. But I do now, grateful for it, and I'm gonna figure this out. We're gonna get, figure out a, a workflow on how, you know, where to put things in this space where it'll flow good for me and make sense to me and make it easier for me to to uh, work this is one thing that I'm one of the one thing I'm most excited about this place is having this space to do things to create to solve problems using the tools that I have and and be productive on the homestead. This is a recent casualty of my inability to just leave things alone and not tear them down and see how they work, especially when they're broken. I've had this compressor for 15 years, not 15 years, 12 years, 10 plus years. <clears throat> and it's served me quite well and it's been put through the ringer and I've loaned it out many times to many people and it's been very useful and it quit working on me. It became unsafe to use so it um, takes forever to pump up the tank so the pistons wore out and then it doesn't shut off when the pressure in the tank reaches the level it should it just keeps going. Luckily it's got an emergency um, valve that releases air if the pressure gets too high so if i don't shut it off it'll just keep going until eventually that happens and i just don't want to risk it i looked up what it would cost for the parts and then i went to try and order them and i don't know if it's a covid 19 situation everything's on back order and months out so here it lies in pieces until we can get it fixed until then, I am without an air compressor. But I enjoyed taking things apart, tinkering with them, figuring out how they how they go together, and, and um, putting them back together eventually. Let's see if I can't keep it working. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave them